Hey guys, what is up, Platinum here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get uh, Snapchat actually on your computer. And in the next video, I will be showing you how to get Instagram on your computer. I've already got it all planned out. Um, but so we're just gonna start this off. I'm gonna start this off with saying I am using a emulator, and I'm not using Blue Stacks. Um, I'm actually using uh, this emulator called CoPlayer, which I actually uh, like this a lot. Um, I don't really know how I feel about the difference yet. I have a few. I have um, Droid 4X. I have Blue Stacks. I have CoPlayer. Um, I'm still getting used to all of them, so I'm, maybe I'll make an update video comparing all three of them or something like that. I know there's Andy, but we don't we don't talk of Andy. That's we don't talk of Andy. That one's just a fucking mess. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to install the emulator. All links will be in the description. This is what we're gonna have. Um, basically, it's just gonna be coplayer.com. You're just gonna hit download for Windows or download for Mac, depending on, depending on which one you use. Then you're gonna have to wait for it to go through the boot up, and then you're gonna have a page that looks like this without Instagram and without Kick. And you're also gonna have an, uh, another app that's uh, Clash of Clans Manager, um, and Pokemon Go will both they'll both be on there for some reason I don't know why. I uninstall Pokemon Go because I don't play it, and I'm not installing any of the hacks to play it. Because if I were to play it, I just sell the fake accounts I made from the hacks. I'm not gonna sit there and actually play it. I don't care enough. So um, so we're gonna go into the Play Store now. You're gonna have to set stuff up once you first uh, start up your phone per se uh, you're gonna have to set up like an email G or a, a Google Play store account and all that so I already have all that set up so once you do that come back um, now we're gonna look up uh, snapchat and don't install it because once you install it it really screws up your phone um, because it doesn't work correctly in this version another link in the description is gonna be to um, to the file the APK file that does work now, what an APK file is, is basically, it's like, uh, it's like taking the app straight from your phone and putting it on a computer. Imagine doing that, and you'd have a file, and the file would be the APK file, which is the app, just in a, I'm explaining it, it's kind of complicated, uh, but basically it's the app that's not extracted in the phone yet. Um... So I'm going to have the link to download that, and we're going to be downloading, um, we're going to be, oh great, it froze, but we're going to be down, okay, I'm just going to close this one out, oh, and the entire emulator closed out, there's still a few bugs with this, so I'll reload this back up, but, um, the one you're going to want is going to be one of these, it's going to be Snapchat 9. Point, uh, 9.2.6.0-765 So um, I'm going to go ahead and let this boot back up again And we're going to have this one We're just going to drag it into the yeah, Okay, that doesn't work anymore We're, we're going to have to go to this one And we're going to go to Downloads Which is where mine is And we're going to pick this one I'm just going to hit Open So now we're going to let it install It's installing the older Snapchat app Now, when you're installing older apps like this you may have problems. So, go ahead and log in. And when it loads up, and we're in. Now, one other thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to the store and press update on the app. I'll show you guys real quick. You're just gonna hit up update. It's gonna fix it. It's gonna update it to the latest version. You now one thing you won't be able to do on it is you won't be able to take pictures for some reason. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to fix this. If I do, I'll post a fix for it. And it is kind of buggy um, at times. It's not too bad. And I mean, you can still send messages. You can still do all this stuff. And it's updating, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. And it works 99% perfect. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions or comments for things that are broken, respond, and I'll see if I can fix them. And I'll try to help where I can. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Dark Shadow Guy out.